Yes, I have some money I want to change. Okay, you want to buy a B1 set? I want to sell Naira to you. Okay, yes. how many dollars? Let's just start with uh, 1.5 for now. Figure that out money. Okay, 1.5. Uh, Naira, yes. You will get $9,600. Okay, no problem. Start with this one, but I will come back uh, maybe tomorrow. I won't change uh, 100 million naira. Okay, no problem. Any amount you want, we can get for you. Abi? Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, how much dollar do you charge? Hello? Larry, let me understand you. You called me this morning to ask me what I am doing. <laughs> Listen, Adora, is there anything wrong with that? See, in as much as we are seeing us, we should at least try to go to church on Sunday. Today is Sunday. I thought maybe if you are ready, we will go to church together. Larry, do you know the only reason why you're qualified to call this number? Sex. Apart from that, you don't have any right whatsoever to call my number. Listen, Adora, I'm already on my way to your house. I'm walking down. I thought maybe if you're ready, we could attend uh, 8 o'clock mass together. I am not attending any mass. I'm not. I don't have time to go to a service where all the old men and women are looking at the way I dress. Please, break it down for me. Are you saying that you're changing from your family church or something? Larry, I am not going to church. I do not feel like going to church. Do you understand? Adora. She got the phone. No, 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 no. This is certainly not my definition of an ideal woman. What? Okay, I know what you want to say. I was awake when dad came in with the blonde. I don't think it's anything stupid. Just stop looking like the old man did something extremely wrong. Adora, I can't believe this. So you do not have a problem with the fact that dad is bringing in different women into his matrimonial room? Oh, come on. You know, let the man play football. His wife is late. He's strong, agile, sexually active. Let him utilize it. What's the problem? Adora, if you know that dad needs a woman, then let's get him to remarry. You know, at least I could mom that respect. Mom is dead. Dead people don't even know when you respect them. Are you sure this is about mom? Bad girl. I have the strong feelings you want to do your dad. <laughs> ah, you imagine he's a bad girl. Stop it. You know your problem. 
You need divine help. Seriously. Get back here. Today, this Sunday morning, last time, last time you ever use such words to me again. You have your convictions, stick to them, I'll stick to mine. You don't want nobody to touch you, stick to that, I'll stick to mine. Don't get in my way. You're not showing a good example. Tell your manager to change my room. The AC doesn't work properly and I will not continue to pay for something that I don't get the service. Clear? Yes sir, but I could get the technical department to work on the problems. I mean... No! I don't want it fixed. I want the room changed. I want to be able to enjoy the comfort of this big hotel as it is. Good? I'm going to town. I expect to receive a new key. And I've got some valuables in the room and I know it to the dot. When they are transferring my things, let them be professionals. Because if one item is missing, I will bring this hotel down. No while. somebody you don't know like that. Oh, well, you just saw her come back. She sleeps all day till 9 p.m. She leaves the hotel. She doesn't come back until the next morning. And that's the timetable of a whole. That's my good help. Have you been a whore? Well, you can answer that. What's her room number? Catch her at 405. You like your job?
Good morning, sir. Hello. Hi, yes. Where are you going? Good. Uh, Glory will soon be on her way down. Um, I want you to drop her at the junction on your way to the church. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. My dear, I must say, I have had a wonderful time in your company. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Oh, Chief. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. You You're are darling. most welcome. Thank you. Mm, you darling, Chief. Such a wonderful person. Thank you. You are most welcome. Chief, when am I going to see you again? When my schedule permits. But be rest assured that you are one girl I would like to have again and again. <laughs> And again. <laughs> I do want to see you again. I appreciate this. Uh, oh, I appreciate you too. I can't believe I didn't need to see you again. I must be like, oh, this is so much. Hmm, Chief, you're so romantic. <laughs> was best. One price was best. Chief called me. He asked me to stop his girlfriend by the junction. My father asked you to do what? No. You mean I am going to be in the same vehicle with that girl? Chief is my boss. I have no option than to obey him. Here she comes. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry for this slight delay. Just that I was trying to sort that from things with my baby. <sighs> Did you hear that? She calls my father her baby. Excuse me. Who are you? My name is Glory. See, hi. I understand how you feel. Okay. But just like your father didn't tell me we were coming to his house. He told me we were going to his private lodge. But for me to find out that he brought me to his house where he lived with his children and where he actually buried his wife. I didn't bargain for this. Are you saying that if my father calls you again, you will not respond? Why won't I respond? My father didn't do anything back to me. Listen, I know. Okay, but whatever you do with my father is sin. S-I-N. See, if you love my father so much, then pressurize him to marry you. That I do not have a problem with. But where I have a problem is the fact that you come into this house and sleep with him every now and then. Because that way you are indulging him in sin. <sighs> hey. Hey, calm down. Sincerely speaking, I like your father very much. He's very caring, understanding, and good man. I don't even think he's thinking in that direction yet. But if he does ask me to marry him, why won't I? Is he good? Just try and understand, okay? Please. 
Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. My mother told me that marriage is sacred. If that girl is good enough for my father to sleep with, then she should be good enough for him to marry. I know your father very well. He's not thinking about marriage. Yes. Oh, Dad has to stop this. He has to stop. I wish mother was still alive. I doubt if Dad will be behaving this way. Should I tell you the truth? I believe in the efficacy of prayers. We are going to the church now. When you get before the blessed sacrament, tell God about it. He knows the best. Okay? It's okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'd rather trek to church. I can't be in the same vehicle with that girl. Why? Have a nice. So, uh, Auntie. Hi, is everything all right? going to sit down until you ask me to. I came up here to ask you to be my friend. How long have you been staying in this hotel? Checked in three days ago. And you think you know me well enough to want to be my friend? You're in the best position to answer that question. We're going to have to reschedule this meeting because right now I need to get some rest. Starting now. Okay. So give me your number and I will call you in four hours. That's my name. Call me in six hours. Fair enough. Well, go ahead, order whatever you want. It'll be put on my tab. Six hours it is. Six hours. Says, look, what are you going to teach your children when you finally settle down with your husband? Dad, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. If I get there. How I get there. I'll cross it. Adora, why are you sitting here and the house is dirty? And where did you spend the night? Father, don't ask me where I slept last night because I slept where I slept. I wanted to sleep there. Adora, why is the living room dirty? That is because Gina is going to have to clean it when she gets back from church. You see what your first daughter has become? You caused it. I don't blame her, I blame you. She's learning from you. No, come back here, come, come back here! How dare you! Stand and look me in the eye and tell me! I'm, I, 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 you're using uncouth language 
on your sister. And why call her names? Because she doesn't know the value of being a woman. She doesn't know what it is. You didn't teach her. And where did you spend the night? And where are you going? You told me you made your first 10 million when you were younger than I am. Yes. Yes, so leave me alone. Let me do my own. Let me make my money. I want to prove to you that I can make my money. I can be a man. Well, come here. When I demand some respect from you, I respect you and I expect that you will respect me back. You have your money, so do I. I have my money. Just leave me alone. This is a different max. I make things happen. I'm not that little boy that used to live in this house and beg you for money. I make my own money. I make things happen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So just leave me alone. Stand well. Stand well. That boy. That boy is biting more than he can chew. I'll crush him. Whoa, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. That's my nigga. Go, nigga. Whoop, 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 whoop. Go, yo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, that he's bought a new car and he thinks he has made so much money. So he can insult every single person in this house. And that includes me. I mean, yours doesn't hurt me. Mine does. I feel very strongly that he's into something illegal. And I, I want you to find out. I see you went to church. I'm impressed. Thank you. Is this your car? Yeah. It's one of my cars. <laughs> What's the big deal? You know, I don't have time. I have an appointment that I need to catch up with. Um, are you coming home today? Or are you sleeping out? I want to teach that your father a lesson. So I'm not coming home. Max, please. I beg you, try and come home. We have a lot to discuss as family. Here, take this. No, don't worry. You. No, don't worry. I don't want it. Gina, take the money. I cannot take money from you until I know what you do for a living. Don't say I don't help out. All right. Later. I'll call you. Serious. Come on, sorry. Find out about. Good morning, Dad. Uh, good morning. Uh, how, how was church? Fine, Dad. Good. My dear, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Let me quickly prepare something for everyone. Good. <laughs> and you, go and give her a hand. Oh, come on, Dad. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
I discussed with the girl that slept here with that. And she said she's willing to marry. Excuse me. I mean, I don't remember father telling any of us that he's willing to marry or he's looking for a girl to marry. See, that has to stop all this. His lifestyle is becoming embarrassing to everyone in this family. Well, the girl also said she's from a responsible home and I believe her. So I think we should talk that into marrying her. First and foremost, Gina, help for yourself. I am not at all embarrassed if that carries a hundred women or two hundred. I'm into politics too. Oh yes. Besides, if the old man needs to marry, you're not the one to tell him when or who to marry. So my dear sister, settle down and cook. We're all hungry. Me particularly, I've had too much to drink. Max gave you some money and you rejected it. Why? The spirit of our mother lives in me. I will not get money from Max until he tells me what he does for a living. After you say you're a Christian, what you did now is it good? I mean, if you don't want the money, you give it to me. Indeed. <laughs> Let me concentrate now. What is it? See, everyone is hungry. Cook, I only want it. Yes, this is Helen Robinson. Hi, Helen. It's six hours on the dock, and I'm calling you like I planned, or like you asked me to. So. Should I give you more time, or should I come see you now? It's okay, come up to my room. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Alright, bye. Here I come. Tony, you and Mars don't pass across to me as if you are real gang leaders. Oh? How do you mean? Before I met you guys, as a member of your gang, we operated a syndicate and everything was fun. Right. You know, he talks funny. Sometimes I don't understand what he says. I know you're a little quick on the uptake, so I will ask you. What the fuck is he talking about? Because something is eating this man up and I don't have any clue what it is. Well, he told me already. He wants us to organize a party where girls are dancing naked. That's the kind of thing they do in Abuna. He want us to do the same right here. The leader of the gang in Abuna. Where is he currently? The leader of the gang is dead. I didn't hear you. The guy is dead. He's dead. That's the whole point. He's dead because of the course of life he chose. We're men of the dark. We live in the dark. The minute you go contrary to that, you get into trouble. And that's what history states. You go six feet down. The minute you begin to get close to women, that is the beginning of your destruction. Tony, are you trying to tell us now that we we'll live as if we we are in the seminary. Why we really have this money to spend as gangsters? Well, I'm not a gangster. That's why I completely better differ. 
Neither is Max. We're graduates. We know what we're doing. Now, circumstances forced our hand to live a certain lifestyle, but that doesn't mean we're stupid. In any event, you have your money, so you can do as you please. But I'll tell you this here and now. If you go do your merry-go-round and somehow endanger this thing we have going, this syndicate, I'll show you. I'll make your life a living hell. So please don't look at the nice clothes and the rhetoric words as weakness. Well, I don't read the newspapers because they only print out what they want the common people to know. But the real evil that those in authorities do, we never hear about it. Because it gets locked up somewhere in the pipeline. Concealed. We never hear about it, so I don't read the papers. You talk like a really radical person. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed with you too. It says here, two weeks ago, an unknown gang attacked Elijah Omar of the Bureau de Change and made away with millions of dollars in euros. You say you know everything that goes on in this town. I'm wondering if you can take me to the leader of that gang. Oh, Helen, you're getting me uncomfortable with, 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 with this. Why would you want to be associated with terrorist because a beautiful lady like you should not be associated with, with such well, I have an axe to grind with Elijah Omar he used to be my boyfriend we dated for three years until it changed he took me to Jordan and forced me to sleep with a very rich shank You cannot be serious. I realized my life was in danger, so I decided to play along. Weeks after we got back to Nigeria, one of his boys told me that the Sheikh paid Elijah Omar a whooping $500,000 for gracing his bed with an African princess. Of course, I confronted Elijah Omar about it, and he denied it to the very core, telling me he didn't get a dime. Ever since then, I've been looking for a way to get back at him. Um, let me be sure of something here, Helen. If I lead you to this gang, what would you do to them? I don't know exactly. Well, what would you do for me? But the surely would live to remember me. As a good friend? Or a bad friend. Definitely a good friend. You've told me countless number of times that I remember the best woman you've ever had. I'm not kidding. I mean, I, I, I you are the best. See, you, you approach uh, sex, lovemaking uh, as an art, and you bring this quality into it that is unmatched. So you see, what I say, you are the best. I mean, you are the best. <laughs> wow, that's lovely. Um, so... Why, why don't you make me yours? Are you not mine? Oh, come on. That's not what I mean. I mean, making me your wife and knowing fully well that I live for you alone. Another girl. That 
That's your daughter, I suppose. Yes. So why did she live in that manner? Mm, she, she was surprised that I have another girl. Another girl? I don't understand. What do you mean by another girl? Wait, wait a second. Are you trying to tell me you have another girl somewhere? <laughs> Well, you see, my dear, that's where I was surprised when you uh, were talking about um, uh, marriage. Uh, you see, I have a girl in every street in this city. So, you see, when you leave, I shall uh, call another. My God. How could you be so heartless? How could you say such a thing to my very face? Ah, you don't even deserve me. Well, if you do what you're planning, then I will have no alternative but to believe that you have uh, uh, jilted me. And you will never be able to have me again. I have to do what I'm about doing. I hate hanging around men that don't know my value. Tony, she tells me that she wants to find the candidate. Now, what I want to do is to present you as the leader. That's not a bright idea. Seriously. You see, we must regard this girl as a spy. Until we unearth her true identity, she will remain a spy. Tony, she's clean. She doesn't work with the police. I know an officer when I see one, and you know that. She's clean. I want to make her a part of this network. I hate to repeat myself. That girl will remain a spy until her status quo change. It's that simple. You're too trusting. That's what the problem is. And that's what I've been trying to tell you all this time. I mean, yeah. As investors, we can't just keep throwing money down the drain. For crying out loud, get back to those people. Tell them what the true position of things are. Right? We can't go back to the bank with, with well, barely feasible stories of how money is going down the drain and nothing is happening. Let them come up with a, a tangible report that we can take back to the bank. Know, show them something they can hold on to and then while they release more phones we can go back to these people and, and real estate things I, I think that's the best way to do this business you know what that's exactly the way i want it that's my judgment let's let's just keep it uh, forgive me your friend is got his um, smirk on her face apparently i think she doesn't like our line of conversation well i'm just not very comfortable with men that are always talking about money i mean money is good but it's definitely not everything Ma'am, my, my dear, I beg to differ. We are man, money is everything. Um, Seriously. <clears throat> you know what? We are going to find the gang. Yes, I can't wait. I promise you that. I cannot wait. Seriously. I promise you that. Okay. And I mean, there are certain things that are better not said on the phone. Why don't you come to the office tomorrow? Good. Alright. Bye. Gina? Are you alright? Why are you kneeling before me? Dad, please. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for even yourself. Don't do it for anybody. But please, do it because of my mother, your late wife. All right. <clears throat> Sit down. Now, what do you want me to do? Dad, it has become obvious that you cannot do without women. 
And I beg you, please, pick one of them and marry. So that our mother, your late wife, would be happy even in her grave. You see, my dear, marriage has restrictions and commitments that come with it. And I am not ready for them now. Dad, you may not know it, but believe me, the neighbors are watching. <laughs> my dear, what do I care what the neighbors think? I am a fulfilled man. I can buy whatever I want. I mean, what business do I have with the, with the neighbors? Dad, whatever lifestyle you live has an impact on us. You bring in different women into this house every day and people are watching. I'm really sorry to say this, Dad, but with all due respect, this shows irresponsibility. Tomorrow, people will begin to say we are daughters of an irresponsible man, and that way your lifestyle has impact on us. Gina, beg me for anything else but not to remarry. No. I was married to a wonderful woman, your mother. And it will be an insult for me to marry another. Dad, but you are insulting her already. Insulting her by bringing in different women into this matrimonial room you both shared. Dad, I beg you. Like I said earlier, don't do it for me. Don't do it for yourself. Do it so she will be happy. Good night. See you in the morning. Assassinate him? I would say thing like that. Do you address of this man? Who is this? I am a shit to him. Look at all you are wrong. You are the one that put me through all this. I am the one I've been looking for you for years. You just disappeared. So I turned my back for one, and you found our address, and you're here groveling before my wife, begging for forgiveness. I am not your wife! See the problem you created for me? I am going to bring your entire life to a halt. If I ever see or hear you come anywhere near my son again, I'll kill you! Gee! Shut up! You are going to refund me that money right here and right now. And what makes you think I owe you a goddamn explanation? Because I won't have anything to do with a heartless beast, a killer, and a skin of your ass! Stop praying that my son does not suffer any lasting disability or disablement. Otherwise, I'll wipe out your entire generation. Promise you. I just proposed my wife to be three days ago.
Nani, we will take instruction from you, not only you, the house boy, even your pet. Oh, comes in different ways. Please don't know this when I'm Likes or cuts trouble just for the fun of it. Yeah, likes trouble. He leaves trouble. Eats trouble. Roots trouble. He is Mr. Trouble. MLX Associates Limited presents a hilarious comedy. Mr. Trouble. We came all. Sam Loco Efe. Patience of Zorko. Tom Pintomanze. Mr. Trouble. The disciple of Emmanuel and Alex Okeke. Yes, by Sunday Imagine Day. Mr. Trouble. Just even market edition rider, MLX Associates Limited. 51 in a carried on it. 129 in the to Motor Lagos. And one stop three bound road Mr. Trouble. Don't look for him. You may not like the encounter. And I've been waiting for you. I'm your wife. I chose you among others. That is ultimate proof that I am king of the land. Dangerous criminal in this town who contracts people to get in here again, leaves here, hides here, and rules from here. I can't leave my throne and run away. Oh, yes, the same way the chief will come out with the spirit of the chiefs, and we lose. Chibuki, what is going on? What is happening? Why are we looking for you? What did you do? And there I come, have I that unless Jambo is arrested, there will be no peace here. And I told them that I will not be part of such a conspiracy. Shut up! Django is the king of the land. Django is the new king of the land. Now, shut up, me. People are witnessing this. Coronation is occasion, aren't you? Yes, we do. No bigger than an understanding. Is this a joke? Welcome. Palace, the moment you hear, you are the king of the jungle, king of the streets, and we are all your subjects. We shall split up the country. You took 25 million, and I took 25. 100 million naira. What's that in pounds for? We're looking about. Four hundred thousand pounds. I want you to have me talk to the bishop. He seems to have a problem with Chibike also. But I relocated from the United States of America, God's own country, the land of milk and honey, to come to this town to help people. When has your life not been in danger? It has always been like that since I knew you. I'm too used to danger by now. Put him up black suit. I get married to you anywhere, anytime. Where are we getting married? Where you guys painted town? The finest girl. Listen, we had fun. Okay, but I mean, there are certain things that are better not said on the phone. Why don't you come to the office tomorrow? Good. All right. Gina, are you all right? Why are you kneeling before me? Dad, please, don't do it for me. Don't do it for even yourself. Don't do it for anybody. But please, do it because of my mother, your late wife. All right. <coughs> Sit down. Now, what do you want me to do? Dad, it has become obvious that you cannot do without women. And I beg you, please, pick one of them and marry, so that our mother, your late wife, would be happy even in her grave. You see, my dear, marriage has restrictions and commitments that come with it, and I am not ready for them now. Dad, you may not know it, but 
Believe me, the neighbors are watching. <laughs> My dear, what do I care what the, the neighbors think? I am a fulfilled man. I can buy whatever I want. I mean, what business do I have with the, with the neighbors? Dad, whatever lifestyle you live has an impact on us. You bring in different women into this house every day and people are watching. I'm really sorry to say this, Dad, but with all due respect, this shows irresponsibility. Tomorrow, people will begin to say we are daughters of an irresponsible man. And that way, your lifestyle has impact on us. Gina, beg me for anything else but not to remarry. No. I was married to a wonderful woman, your mother. And it will be an insult for me to marry another. Dad, but you are insulting her already. Insulting her by bringing in different women into this matrimonial room you both shared. Dad, I beg you. Like I said earlier, don't do it for me. Don't do it for yourself. Do it so she will be happy. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night, Dad. Gentlemen, um, can I see the money? $700,000, sir. The money is complete. I am impressed. Please, Chief, may we know when our next business trip is planned for? Oh, yes. I am having a, a meeting with the head of operations at the airport in a few hours' time. It is at that meeting that um, we'll decide which, which flight, time, and so on. Eh? All right, Chief. We shall be waiting for your call. Good. Oh, wait. I don't want you to say no, Larry. 
I want you to abandon everything you're doing and come over to my house. Oh, no, Adora, I can't come now. I have a very important meeting with the manager of Parklight Group of Company Nigeria Limited. Yes, and that's where I'm going to now. Larry, if you know you love me, then cancel the appointment and come, please. Is anything the matter? It's important. I need to see you. You're the only person I want to see now. Please, I beg you, it's really important. Why? Why now? Why would she call me now that I have a very important meeting with somebody who wants to give me a job? Why? Huh? I've told you all there is to know about me. You know everyone I've dated. And most of all, I've let you have your way with me. But still, you've not told me anything about you, yourself. I'm just wondering if this is how it's going to be. I had a friend from Sudan. And he told me, he said, Max, if ever a lady opens up to you without being forced or induced, trust that lady. Well, I can't say I know exactly what you mean by that. I'm not going to ask your impressions about me, Helen, because I know you like me. I'm going to give you very important information. What information? Promise that you keep it a secret. I promise I will. There is a network in this land called Men at Work. And they are the very ones that killed a large human. I need to meet the leader of that gang. I will go out of my way to thank him. You know, they killed Omar for the money. But I remain the ultimate beneficiary. I need to meet them. You are looking at he. I am the leader of men at work. I personally killed the bastard as he was trying to escape with the money. And I don't regret it. We made over 150 million naira from that hit. Now, Helen, my love. I have just told you one of the biggest secrets of my life. If you are an officer, arrest me now. Larry, get up, get up. You have to go now. My dad will me back and I don't want him to be here. So sudden? Yes, sudden. After everything? You call that sudden? You've had enough. Get up. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. Wow, what have I done to myself? I just missed a job appointment. Oh, my love. I am so sorry. 
I think that you had so much fun. I mean, this should cover up for your appointment. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I said I missed a job appointment and all you could tell me is you had this? Are you that mean? Oh, come on, Larry. It's called opportunity cost. You can't have it all. You win some, you lose some. I know you're a devil. I should not be here. Larry, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was just saying, for everything you enjoy, the appointment is just the tip of the iceberg. Now you listen to me. Even if you are the verge of death, don't you dare call my phone. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't you dare. Larry, you have to be sure. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't give me that crap. Okay, 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 you win. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, my secret. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided to increase the quantity of stuff that we send across. My boys are aware and they are raring to go. Um, I just want to make sure that all arrangements from your side are intact. As long as you continue to give me what I want, I will continue to provide you with departure clearance at the airport. <laughs> This is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Then in that case, I'll write you a check for three million naira. No, Chief. I no longer accept checks anymore. Why? My check is as good as cash. I know. Just for security purpose, I accept cash and in hard currency. You intend to add more stuff to what you're sending out. Mm. I will not settle anything less than fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars i mean, I mean that's, that's that's a lot of money i mean just for one trip now how much how much how much profit do you think i make can't you give us a discount not in this business i have more than 20 officials to settle at the airport they will grant your boys direct access into the plane i need money to run this and that's why I said fifty thousand dollars. What can we do? Well, okay, okay. Um, I'll get you. Yes. Hello? Yes, Captain. Good 
afternoon. May I speak to Mr. Buckner, the Assistant Superintendent of Customs? Paul Buckner here on the line. Uh, who is calling, please? Uh, my name is Chief Dominic. Well, good afternoon once again, Chief Dominic. Um, what can I do for you? I mean, uh, do I know you? Have we met before? Um, as, uh, as we are now, no, we've never met. That is why I want us to meet this evening. You are the uh, officer in charge of Roko Borders, are you not? Oh, yeah. Good, I am told you are, uh, you are a businessman. That is why I want to discuss business with you. Well, it, uh, it depends on what business you're talking about. Uh, maybe if you give me a clue to the kind of business you want us to talk about, then uh, uh, I should be able to have, uh, you know, uh, to create time for, for all that. Well, I am the CEO of uh, Dominic Freight Forwarders. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh uh, are you the owner of that company? Yes, indeed, I am. Okay. And that is uh, why I would like us to have a drink, mm, oh, oh, a glass of wine over, you know, and then and, and have, a, have a chat. <laughs> okay. Uh... Where and when can, can we meet? Shall we say the VIP bar of uh, Benizie Hotels and Towers, 8 p.m.? All right. I will be there. Good. I'd look forward to meeting you. Thank you, sir. service to this nation. I like the way you think. 
You have the zeal and determination of a warrior. Can you imagine all the great things we can achieve together? I am a thorough businessman and people say that I am decisive. Now, I would like us to use our good offices to make money. Well, Chief, you said all this before, uh, so I'm here and now asking, how? Huh? Dominic Freight Forwarders is indeed a relatively young company, but we have a long list of clients, people who trust us with their containers. And I would like us to be in partnership. Well, Chief, uh, what kind of partnership are you talking about? Right. We shall give you the list of all the containers with very expensive contents. Now, you will seize them and leave us to handle our clients. Everything will be done according to the book. Oh yes. After a while, you will now sell those containers to us in an auction. And then we shall sell the contents of the containers and send you your share of the money. <laughs> yes. Well, Chief, uh, that sounds interesting. Mr. Buckner, you will have to trust me deliver the goods. Okay. But uh, I, I have to think this all over. Uh, as interesting as it is, uh, <laughs> as they have to put all the indices together and do a thorough thinking. Yeah. But, chief, how did you get my number? <laughs> I thought that question would come. Well, I've been following your track record for quite a while. And I came to realize that you are a man to be trusted. As for the telephone, I sourced it through your regional office. Well, Chief, I, I was just asking for asking purposes. But uh, be that as it may, I still have to think this all over. But if we have to do this, Chief, there is a simple condition that we both have to strictly adhere to for this to work. Now, Chief, if anything goes wrong at your end, please do not call me. If anything goes wrong at my end, I will not call you, and if we both stick to this condition, then you, we are in business, real business. <laughs> I will say, cheers. cheers. Nothing going on from our department either, and nothing is going to go on from this end. <laughs> now I understand why your mobile phone is off and your intercom is off the hook. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't worry about the storm, your micro. I understand that, but get dressed, we have things to do.
Well, give me 30 minutes, wait outside and come in. Fair enough. Just hurry up, we don't have time. <laughs> So, are you not going? Me, give me one more for the road, man. Rox, excuse me, go and have your bath. I'll meet your friend outside. I'm tired, please. She I'm tired. tired. Shut up. Am I running away? Go and have your bath, please. Go! My <laughs> friend. me so much but I want you to know that you're my only brother and I love you no matter what listen to me you are my sister I don't hate you I can never hate you so how come you never ask of me and then when you see me you start calling me names it's because I want you to change I don't like your lifestyle your approach to life is not encouraging. I want you to change, and that's why I get angry with you. I've improved. I mean, I've stopped smoking, I've stopped drinking. Okay. Fine. So what's next? I need some money. You have the nerves. I knew it was going to come to this. How much? Like 200,000 naira. 200? Meet me at my hotel and I'll give it to you. Where's your hotel? You know what? Forget it. I will pass by the house and let you have the money. I hope it won't be late. Oh, no, no, no. It's not too late. Not at all. Not too late. Good. Now, I just want you to change. I really have stopped smoking. What is going on? 200,000 naira just like that? I think I have some smoking again. I love you. <laughs> yes. Well, all arrangements have been concluded. You fly KLM. Get in touch with Akande, he will give you everything you need. The head of operations at the airport, yes, he has been duly satisfied. I want you boys to fly out like kites and land like falcons. I wish you good luck. Crazy? You open up to her? Yes, Tony. I told her everything. And I don't regret my actions. Listen, Tony. This lady is connected. Very well connected. And she can make a wonderful partner. You're talking like a goddamn child. Well, you're the one talking like a child, Tony. Stand well. Stand well. I know what I'm talking about. I spoke with her. I told her you were the planner. So just meet up with the lady and I'm sure you can get more information. This is not logical. I cannot bring myself to trust the woman. Give me one good reason why I should trust this woman. Because as we sit here now, she's already given me information of this politician that has half a billion naira in his house. Now all we have to do is go in there and take up the money. At what cost? The ultimate price? You're not thinking. Any woman, I guess maybe maybe she didn't even put in the bargain that she's obviously sleeping with him. Well, who cares? If she's sleeping with him, who cares? Why well, she says she's been living with him for months. We don't want to know. It's the money we want. You don't want to do something that will cost our lives. You understand me? 
Because the point here is simple. A woman that will readily betray a man that she's known for months without the slightest qualm. What makes you think she won't betray us without beating an eye? That's my take on this. I don't trust her. Pulled you out of the room because it was very cloudy in there. It was like five people were smoking in that room. Look at me. Tell me you weren't smoking in that room. Me? No. I wasn't smoking and drinking. I mean, I quit a long time ago. No, I did. Quit. You're lying. I did. Oh, come on. Don't begin to reprimand me and tell me what's bad about smoking and drinking. I know. That's why I quit. Let me ask you one question. Hmm? Do you know you're a woman? And that one day you will become a mother? Oh, I know. I know I'm a woman. And that's why I decided to quit smoking and drinking. I mean, the Federal Ministry of Health wants the smokers are liable to... I don't know the line, but they do die. They die. All of them. Oh my God, oh my brother. Now behave yourself, and we won't have a reason to misunderstand ourselves. Honestly, I've quit drinking and smoking. Not my style. Gina, my sweet sister. Here. No. I won't take it. Tina, what is wrong with you? Adora asked me for 200000 and I gave her half a million. And I'm offering you dollars way more than what she asked me for. Why aren't you taking it? Max, I saw you in my dream last night. You were in company of evil men that came to kidnap our parish priest. I woke up and I realized it was a dream. Honestly, I think you're into something very unholy. So I will not take money from you until I know what you do. You were in that meeting when Father called me useless. Yes, I was, but Father did not say you anything. Let me finish. Let me finish. He called me useless. He said I'm no good and that I should grow up and be a man. Well, I'm that man now. Maxwell, you are deviating too fast from the point. You haven't even told me what your source of income is. Father did not ask you to leave the house. You got angry and left the house on your own. I am asking you as your sister. What do you do for a living? I'm a businessman. Just like your father is. A businessman. That's what I am. One day, you know you can run away. One day, you surely will have to pay for all the evil things you do. Why are you asking me all these questions as if you don't trust me? The point is that I've only met you once before now. And you strike me as um, it's a really unique card. We've decided to work with you. So let's just say that I want to um, get to know my partner in crime. Knowing a woman better would require you sleeping with a lady. 
and I already slept with your friend, so I'm not in a hurry to oblige you with the same experience. Can we still work together? No, of course. Listen, I'm not that kind of man. Oddly, that's not what I came here for. I just came to look at you. One on one. And that's how in the world you don't have any remorse between a man that completely trusted you with his life. Are you trying to tell me that you don't want the money? Of course I want the money. It would be good to have free money for a change. Instead of that charmed money we took over on my large Omaro that frees it out before our eyes. But my point still is, I don't know if it's self-preservation or just instincts. How in the world can you betray a man that trusted you with everything? Now, how are we sure you won't do the same to us? I'm ready to sew on anything you've got. I can betray just about anybody, but surely I sincerely would not betray the group that killed Olaji Omar. Look, I've told you all you need to know. Why don't you just sit down and let's plan the evacuation of this money? And do something creative with it. My friends, there's something you must understand. We are not like other officers you have here in the city. We are special monitoring team from the federal capital. And I insist you tell us the truth right now. The whole truth and nothing, absolutely nothing but the truth. Sir, we are telling you the truth. Oh, shut up! You will face the consequences of this crime alone if you don't produce the criminal behind this crime. Sir, you don't have any baron. You don't have any baron. We are independent businessmen. Can you imagine what this is going to say? You make me laugh. I'm sure you guys don't know what you are going to do. You are going to rot in jail. Now, tell me. Who is the kingpin that bribed all the line officers? Maybe there is a kingpin, but sincerely as and honestly, we don't know him. As my brother said, we don't work for anybody. We are independent businessmen. Besides, this is the 41st time we are getting involved into drugs. <laughs> when I look at your faces, I honestly and truly see the faces of hardened criminals. You guys are truly hardened. And I can assure you, by the time we unveil your boss, who is behind this crime, you'll be sorry for yourselves. I can assure you, you'll be sorry for yourselves. Speak, my friend. Are you telling me why you betrayed the agents? You are a law enforcement officer, commissioned to combat crime relating to drugs at the airport. Why then did you decide to join the same people you're supposed to arrest and prosecute? I was enticed. Uh, things are too rough for my family. And when they approached me with money, I lost my integrity. No, 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 no. I disagree entirely with you. You had no integrity. You are not patriotic. And I swear by my father's grave, I will deal with you. Please help me. Help me, please. You are the head of the monitoring team, and you have all powers to free me. I can give you $20,000. You shut up! Who is the brain behind this? Oh, please. Don't let the Lord take its full cause. Please. You and I know that this country is corrupt. They destroyed this country right from the top. They don't care about you and I. Please. There's nothing that we can do to remedy the situation that is already terminal. Take me what you want. And I'll give it to you. Please. 
And we forget to taste. <laughs> you know that the impression we have about you at the federal capital is that you are a highly compromised officer. And you have just confirmed it now. <laughs> Mr. Man, this country is being destroyed by compromising and rotten officers like you. Let me tell you something. I count myself among the men that will fix all the mess you people have created. Please help me. Help me, please. I am asking you for the very last time. Who is the man behind this? I said, who is the man behind this? Dennis, Dennis, what kind of a joke is that? Chief, I am very, very serious. I'm not joking. I came to inform you so that you can go into hiding because the airport head of operation was also arrested. And you never can tell when the interrogation will go severe and it could call your name. He was arrested at the airport when he was trying to make way for your traffickers. Hello? Yes, it is me. I want the entire building cleared and locked up immediately. Yes, everybody out. Everybody. And go on the ground. Go on the ground until you hear from me. Is that clear? Everybody, go. Now, go! <laughs> 